The Cogito project attempts to control a robot in a real environment. Here you can see a Type B21 robot, acting on a kitchen table. The control of the movement of the B21 must be generated by software before it can operate like this. Therefore the kitchen environment is modeled for a simulator, which is able to create higher level plans to operate robots. One challenge is the occurrence of failures and their handling. For instance, if the B-21 dropped things he must automatically interrupt his plan and redo the aborted action until it proceeds successfully. Here you can see a simulation of the plan to boil water. The three little windows on the bottom of the screen show us additional information. In the right corner we can see the visualization of the 12 sonar sensors which were placed around the robot's body. The blue field in the middle is produced by two rotating laser sensors, and on the left we can see the ego view from the video cameras on the robot's head. For now, all actions are serially executed, one by one. One vision is, to optimize plans. This can be done, by changing the execution order, or combine some actions to one more efficient. If a new task, like set table for two persons, is assigned to the B-21, first the library is being scanned for an adapted plan. If there is no such plan, it must be created with a combination out of existing sub-plans, Let's say there is a plan to set the table for one person with the following sub-instructions. Get plate P1. Place P1 on table. Get cup C1. Place C1 on table. The plan for the task which has to be executed can be generated by simply doing this twice. First plate 1 and cup 1. Then plate 2 and cup 2. Now it's going to be analyzed if it contains errors or can be optimized to execute it faster and perhaps saver. Thereby, each single sub-plan is analyzed. The current one is highlighted and turns into green if it is free from errors. If the conclusion is that the plan is inefficient, an optimization routine is called to improve the plan by first changing the execution order of its sub-plans. So we first get the two plates and place them on the table, then the two cups were arranged in the same way. What we get is a logical arrangement of the sub-instructions, the plates, and the cups. The next optimization step tries to optimize the plans by inserting new and more complex sub-plans like stacking things together to speed up the whole execution. Now we have only these six instructions. Stack plates P1 and P2DS1. Place S1 on table. Unstack S1. Stack cup C1 and C2DS2. Place S2 on table. Unstack S2. The new plan must also be analyzed like before.